In the Bible, there's a story that almost perfectly describes me. It's about the son who blows all of his money, his inheritance that he got from his father. And then he asks his father to forgive him and to take him home. You know, in the Bible, it doesn't say much about the prodigal son's journey home. I'd like to tell you about mine. I was so messed up a couple of years ago that I tried to take my life. And I ended up in a rehabilitation center that I was in and out of a lot. In fact, I was in and out of there so many times that the last time I was admitted that I, I felt there was no hope that I was never going to change. I was too ashamed and too addicted and too sick to believe that I'd ever be worth loving again or that I'd ever be forgiven. So I got down to my last option. I was to pray. I got down on my knees and I prayed and I prayed with all my heart. And it was uh, at that time that I found that the scriptures were of value to me. It was during a partic particularly difficult night that uh, scripture from the Book of Mormon sort of leapt out at me. It says, uh, Wherefore you must press forward with a steadfastness in Christ, having a perfect brightness of hope and a love of God and of all men. Wherefore, if ye shall press forward, feasting upon the word of Christ, and endure to the end, behold, Thus saith the Father, ye shall have eternal life. I'm so sorry for the pain that I've caused my family. And uh, for a lot of you here today. Please forgive me. But I believe, with all my heart, that through Jesus Christ I've been given the strength to come to my earthly home. And that with faith and endurance, I hope someday he'll welcome me to my heavenly home. It is not repentance per se that saves men. It is the blood of Jesus Christ that saves us. It is not by our sincere and honest change of behavior alone that we are saved, but by grace that we are saved after all we can do. True repentance, however, is the condition required so that God's forgiveness can come into our lives. True repentance makes a brilliant day out of the darkest night. The gift of the atonement of Jesus Christ provides us at all times and at all places with the blessings of repentance and forgiveness. Because of this gift, the opportunity to make a safe return from the disastrous course of sin is available to all of us. For this I give thanks to our Heavenly Father. And of this I bear testimony with all my heart and soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.